welcome to another episode of Veritas. My name is Jessica Lubiansky, and I'm blessed today to have joining me on Veritas, Father Johnson Lay. He is a parochial vicar here at St. Rosalima in San Antonio. So welcome, Father Johnson, and thank you for being here today. I want to dive right into this topic. You know, it's already February of 2021. It's hard to believe the first month of the year has blown by and in the month of February we're going to be entering into Ash Wednesday and the season of Lent. So before we you know really get into the season of Lent I wanted to embrace the topic and talk about how do we begin preparing our hearts for Lent and so I invited Father Johnson here today to just share a little bit of how we do start preparing our heart for Lent. Um, so I'm actually a Cajun from New Orleans. I was born there, and so we do things a little bit differently, right? Uh, we start our whole carnival season January 6th with the Epiphany, the Three Kings Day. And then from that whole January 6th all the way to Ash Wednesday, there's a time of really just to be merry, right? Just to enjoy our time and feasting and whatnot. And then right on Ash Wednesday, right at midnight, of um, Tuesday night midnight to Ash Wednesday everything just stops because then we go into this whole season of penance a season that we prepare ourselves for for the resurrection for the glory and so there are many ways and like I said um, we start off with Ash Wednesday and so with Ash Wednesday we come to to a lot of places either to the church or wherever um, to get our ashes and the ashes back then was a sign for us to show people that we are one we're mourning um and then two a sign of penance public penance to let everybody know that we are sinners and that we are doing this as a sign of penance for what we have done and so uh that's the start of the season itself but that there are three pillars to let right prayer fasting and almsgiving and each has a different significance in the life of the church in our own life on how we prepare ourselves for that whole season of Lent. Um, and so we, we call our mind to prayer just to build up that relationship with God. Um, fasting, we deprive ourselves of all the things that is evil in our life so that we can come to know God better, um, to see His glory, to see the goodness in life. And then almsgiving, to be attached to the poor and think of them that they are you know those who are less fortunate than us and so that we can be in touch with them understanding them they are our brothers and sisters they too are images of Christ and they too need to be connected to Christ with our love as well um, and then also just from Ash Wednesday to Easter is usually 40 days right to remind us that the 40 days of Israelites wandering through the desert um, to the promised land and then as well as Christ in the desert for 40 days preparing himself for ministry and so we too our 40 days that uh, we are preparing ourselves one to of course see the promised land which is heaven itself right and then number two to pre prepare ourselves for the glory of the resurrection at Easter and so a uh, very quick uh, very quick uh, overview of Lent itself right there yeah I once heard a quote father Mike Schmidt said it said that the Ashes remind us that, that we're a sinner, and the cross reminds us that we have a Savior. And it's going to look a little di different this Ash Wednesday. Here in the Archdiocese, we're going to have ashes sprinkled on our head instead of you know that usual cross that we all post our ash tag. But at the end of the day, it's still the same meaning that you know we are sinners, and we will return to ashes one day, but we have the hope of the resurrection and being reunited with Christ as well. Um, I do have to ask you, since you said you were Cajun, what kind of Fat Tuesday celebrations do you have? I don't know if I should even say this on, on camera, <laughs> right? Uh, but usually I love to eat, and so there are all kinds of food, right? Just the whole jambalaya or just feasting. Of course, we have the king cake throughout the whole season itself, not just on Three Kings Day, but king cake itself. Uh, this past this past couple of weeks already, I've had people from New Orleans send me some king cake already. I have five of them. <laughs> and so um, just feasting that way and just doing things that we can, right? Um, enjoying ourselves and, and, you know, libations and food, but mostly also at the time, at the same time, just at the, 
even though Fat Tuesday is some time that it's the last day of being married, but at the same time, we are already preparing ourselves for Lent. And so there's so much that you can do, but at the same time, we have to keep in mind on what's important, what's our priority, which is God, which is Christ. Most definitely. So I would encourage you as you begin to prepare for Lent, join into this season of being merry and being joyous and take that joy and spread it throughout your community, throughout your family. And that's really your challenge It's just, you know, to be joyful in a time that maybe joy isn't always shown. Thank you, Father Johnson, for joining us for this episode of Very Toss. I know we have another episode that we'll be seeing you on. Uh, so thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Very Toss.